as, as energy was emitted or absorbed in packets, light was the same thing as well. And he said that light was made up of discrete particles, where each particle was called a photon. And Einstein came up with a theory that could explain the, ex the experimental results. A photon is the smallest amount of radiation at a given frequency. And the energy that a photon has is given by this formula, E equals HF. H is Planck's constant, F is the frequency of light. So the energy of a photon is equal to the Planck's constant times the frequency. Now Einstein's explanation was that when I shine light on a, on a substance, the photon has a certain amount of energy given by this formula. A photon can either give all of its energy or none of its energy. Now, for each electron to actually come out of the middle, it needs a minimum energy. This energy is called the work function. And is denoted by phi. So, an, an electron um, will only jump out if you give it the minimum amount of energy. So, I take a substance, think of it like this, I want to jump from here to the other end of the room. Alright, if, if it's all empty in the middle, I'm not going to take small jumps, because if I do, then I'm going to fall down. You either take a big leap and jump all the way across, or you don't. It's not continuous, so I have to jump all the way across. If the photon of light has enough energy, the electron will jump out. If it does not have enough energy, then the electron will actually stick. So therefore, if the emission actually happens, it will be instantaneous. Either it jumps or it doesn't. It can't slowly build up and grow. To measure the amount of energy that the electrons had, you could do this very simple experiment. Essentially, you have a substance like this. You connect it to your battery or your power pack. Over here, um, you shine the light, and you have a plate over here. Electrons come from here, and they go there. If I set up a voltage, right? If I actually set up a voltage over here, such that the electrons want to move over there, but as they get over there, there's a voltage that stops them. To measure how much energy an electron has, what I do is I see how much energy do I need to stop this electron. And the amount of energy I need to stop this electron is the amount of energy that the electron has. So, what Einstein actually said was this. The energy that an electron can have is equal to how much you put in minus how much is eaten up. How much you put in is how much energy the photon had, which was equal to HF. And how much was eaten up was the work function. It's the minimum amount of energy that the electron needed to make the jump. I give you 10 mass bars, you take 3 mass bars to make the jump, you'll only have 7 mass bars left. Same thing over here, um, the photon has 10 packets of energy or 10, you know, 10 units of energy, 3 units are taken up to make the jump, it has 7 units left. So this is the formula that he gets. Now based on this, if I draw the graph, then essentially what will happen is, this is the kinetic energy over here, and this is the frequency. Below a certain frequency, there's not enough energy, so the electron is not going to jump out. And then after that, as you start increasing the frequency, you start increasing the kinetic energy that the electron has. Now, so what we get over here is that this formula, kinetic energy equals HF0 minus pi, and this is called the threshold frequency. It's the minimum frequency you need before which <coughs> photo emission will happen. Now, this idea that of the quantum theory was that of light consistent of particles was actually a huge leap of faith. Um, it contradicted directly with Maxwell's equations, which were widely understood and accepted. Um, however, what happened was Einstein's equations first predicted that the energy 
would increase linearly. In 1905, although they had done some experiments, this hadn't been experimentally verified. It wasn't until 1915 that this graph was actually verified and people accepted Einstein's explanation of the photoelectric effect. For this, he was actually given the Nobel Prize. So this, after Einstein explained the photoelectric effect using the quantum theory, other people started using the quantum theory and started adding to it, and hence we have the quantum theory as we have today.